Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to download the ISO file of Windows 10 version 20H2, also known as the October 2020 update, directly from the Microsoft servers without the need to use a media creation tool. So if you want to direct download the ISO file, you can do this in two ways. The first way is to use this Microsoft support website, which is the website you usually use to download the update assistant in the media creation tool. But as you can see, there is not an option to download the ISO file. And that's because if you are using a Windows 10 machine to access this website, Microsoft wants you to use one of the tools to install the OS. As such, you need to trick the site to think that you're using another operating system to make that option available. And you can easily do that by right clicking the page and selecting the inspect option. And you can do this on Microsoft Edge or Chrome. Once in here, click the customize button and select the more tools sub menu and then select network conditions. In here, for user agent, you want to uncheck this option and select something different. For example, Fari on an iPad. Once you do that, you can refresh the page and you will see that you're now directed to a different version of the web page. And here, you can simply select the edition of Windows, which is in this case is the October 2020 update, and then click confirm. Then select your language, and in my case is English, but if you are on another region that is not the United States, you want to select the English International. Then click Confirm. And now you have two options to download the ISO file. Usually you will just download the 64-bit version, but if you have a machine using the 32-bit version, you will click this option right here. And now you're downloading the ISO file for version 20H2 directly from the Microsoft servers skipping the media creation tool. Now, if you're using Firefox, you can do the same, but the way that you can trick the site is a little bit different. So if you're using Firefox, you will need to use the Control Shift M keyboard shortcut to open this view for developers. Then at the top, use the menu and select iPad, and then click the refresh button. And now as you can see, we would get directed to this version of the page where you can select the edition and the language of the version of the ISO file for Windows 10. Then just click the version that you want to download and that's how you trick the site to skip the media creation tool to download the ISO file, in this case for Windows 10 version 20H2. Then the second way is to use a third-party tool known as Rufus, which is a free tool designed specifically to create a bootable flash drive of Windows 10. So if you want to use this method, you need to come to the official website for the app and then scroll down to the download section and download the latest version. Once you download it, you want to open it. And in here, you want to make sure that you go to the settings and check for updates. Make sure it's set to daily, or at least you want to make sure that it's not disabled. Then you want to close the app and then you're going to open it again. Making sure the updates are turned on will enable this option right here that allows you to select this download option which you can use to download the ISO file of Windows 10 version 20H2 directly from the Microsoft server. Once you selected the download option, click the button and from here we're just going to select Windows 10 and then we're going to click continue. Here we select the release which is in this case the 20H2 version which is selected by default but you can select different releases if you want to install an older version of the operating system and then we're going to click continue. I'm going to click continue again. And for the language, again, if you are in the United States, you want to select English 
otherwise select English International. Click Continue. For the architecture, you want to select x64 in most cases, but if you have a 32 version of Windows 10 or you want, or you want to install the 32-bit version, you want to select the x86 option. And because we're just interested on downloading the ISO, we're going to check this option and then click the download button. And as you can see, we're now downloading the ISO file for Windows 10 version 20H2 without using the media creation tool. And this file is being pulled from the Microsoft servers. And that's how you direct download the ISO file for Windows 10 version 20H2. Remember to like the video, leave your comments. If you have any questions, you can post them on the Pure Info Tech forums to get answers. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.